Hello friends. In this video, I'll show you how to fix the annoying pop-up error cannot verify server identity on your iPhone. Let's start with some basic checks. Ensure your iPhone is connected to Wi-Fi or stable mobile data when fixing this problem. First is delete unwanted calendar, which was added by mistake from a pop-up ad in Safari. Open the settings app and scroll to the last option apps. Again, scroll and find the calendar option. See all added calendars and delete unwanted calendars that were added accidentally. All is fine, no spam calendar was added on your iPhone, then go back and check your mail accounts. Open the settings app and scroll to the last option apps. Again, scroll to the mail app from the list and open it. Now, tap on the problematic account added to your mail app and delete the account from here. Otherwise, delete the email account setup profile from the settings app on your iPhone. Open the settings app on your iPhone, scroll, and tap general option. Again, scroll to VPN and device management. Tap on the configuration profile. Remove the profile to delete email account details and stop the pop-up for cannot verify server identity. Now, log into your mail account again and add a new account with the correct username and password. Under the mail accounts, add an account. Check it's fixed or not. Check date and time. Ensure that your iPhone shows the correct date and time to update to automatically. Open the settings app on your iPhone. Scroll to the general option. Again, scroll and tap on the date and time option. Enable set automatically toggle and check that fixed your problem. If nothing helped, then I recommend to reset all settings. This will set your iPhone settings to default and none of the media files will be deleted. Open the settings app and scroll to general. Again, scroll to the transfer or reset iPhone option and tap on the reset option. Select reset all settings and enter your iPhone lock screen passcode to verify. Proceed to the final step. Tap on reset all settings. Please remember this. Keep your iPhone updated with the latest iOS update from settings. Open the settings app, scroll to general and software update. I hope you found these solutions helpful to you. Don't miss to share in the comment box. Please like, share and subscribe for new video update. Thank you for watching.